Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you're doing very well. So today we're going to be testing out some NYX makeup. I know you've all been waiting for this, so let's just chuck it straight on my face. Okay guys, so first of all I'm going to go in with a primer. This is the NYX Photo Loving Primer in the Anti Dull Skin, so it's in like the purple shade. I've had this for a while, I'm pretty sure I've only used it like once. I'm not even sure I've used it once to be fair, I've just had it in my collection for ages. Feels kind of like silicone-y, like that sort of feeling primer. You know how the Benefit Professional has like a silicone feel to it? That's kind of what this feels like. Next, we're going to move on to foundation. I have the Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. You guys know I'm not about matte foundations that much, but this is the one that kind of matched the best of my skin tone. They look pretty orange in the bottle, but when I actually put them on my hand and tested them out, this one seemed to match the best, and I have this one in the shade Soft Beige. But what I also have is I think these are from the Pro Collection. It, I have the Pro Foundation Mixes, so I have a bronze one to make it darker. I have a opalescence one, which I'm actually going to mix with the matte foundation, see if we can make it a little bit more glowy. And then I also have a sort of lightening one as well, so we'll see how we go with those. I may cream contour with this, um, but let's just test it out with the opalescence one first. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, it doesn't look as orange as it does in the tube, and I am a fake tan today, so we're not trying to match this, we're trying to match this. Then I'm just going to take the opalescence, oh this is very very liquidy, and I'm going to do like two parts foundation, one part foundation mixer. And I'm actually going to try out a new brush today, this is the Lottie London, I don't think it has a name but it's kind of like a, it's like a buffing brush but the bristles are kind of long if that makes sense, so I'm going to see how this works. I'm just going to try and mix it a little bit on my hand. And fingers crossed this isn't too orange. Not a bad colour. Thank God. I really like how this brush is applying my foundation. The only downfall is it doesn't pick up much product from your hand, so I am just kind of blending it into my hand. But the application is really, really nice. Really, really liking this foundation. I don't know if it would necessarily be my favourite if it wasn't mixed with the foundation mixer. That's just because I don't like matte foundations. But they do do a bunch of other ones, and I think they're coming out with like a new one that's kind of like the Marc Jacobs Infallible, where you only need a few drops and it's meant to be insane coverage. So, when that one comes out, you can bet your ass I'm getting my hands on it. Next, I'm going to go in with my full coverage concealer. I've used this many, many times. I love it. It really is full coverage. I'm just going to pop that under my eyes and over any blemishes that I have. I'm just using the Zoeva Concealer Buffer warming that up in the pot and then packing it under my eyes. I'll blend it all out again in a second with the same foundation brush. I don't actually have an eye primer so I am going to go over my lids as well. And then like I said, go back over with the foundation brush. Cover that one up a little bit more. I'm going to try and contour over that bad boy but get rid of it as much as we can. Be gone sir. Be gone with you. This is my good side anyway, who cares. Next, I'm going to be risky here. The girls at NYX told me that the darker foundation mixer was good for cream contouring. If you're watching this, I'm going to take your word for it. And we're going to give it a go. Not going to lie, this literally looks like I am smearing something that I shouldn't be on my face. Seems to blend out really nicely. I'm just going to blend that in again with my trusty foundation brush. By the way guys, you might be able to notice a slight difference in light today. Ollie, who is very very good at lighting, has managed to fix it so that it kind of looks like it's daylight, but actually it's pretty much pitch black outside, so let me know what you think. Really liking that, it gives me like a nice sort of bronzy glow. Yes. Next I have some powder, I've got two different shades, I've got 05 and 07, which is a little bit more of like a yellowy tone. I think I'm going to try it with that one first. Ooh! It gives you like a glow. Hello. Yeah, I am loving this. I wasn't sure I would like it because I don't tend to like powders with colour in them. In fact, I don't tend to like powders anyway. The oilier the better for me. But, yeah. This doesn't map me out whatsoever, it's just like a nice glowy but set finish, so 
big thumbs up for that one. Next is a product that I am, I'm so excited for this. It's their contouring kit. If you guys don't know about this, I mean, you've got pretty much everything you need there. And this is about 18 pounds. So super excited to try this out. I'm gonna go in first of all with I think, I want a matte shade. So I'm gonna try that one. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm gonna try that one. I don't know if it's completely matte, but it seems like the better color for me. Pigmented. I think another really good thing about this is that the pans are actually refillable. So say if you always use, I don't know, say if I hit pan on this one, I wouldn't need to go and buy a brand new palette. I just have to go and buy the single. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. Next I'm going to go in with the slightly more brown shade because apparently I'm not bronzy enough and I'm going to go slightly higher with that. I'm using, using the same brush that I used to powder my face. Next, I'm going to go in with this more banana, banana paid, banana shade, and just go under my eyes a little bit with that. I cannot believe the amount of powder that I've used on my face so far, and I'm not even looking remotely powdery. This is amazing. Pack a little bit of that on the lid, just to keep my concealer in place. I've got a cat hair in my eye. Then I'm going to go in with a blusher. This one is in the shade Amber in 11. And I've heard a lot about their blushes, so I'm really excited to try them. Honestly, you guys, the formulation of these powders, they're so pigmented. That's almost too much for me. That is such a nice shade as well. And that's coming from a girl that doesn't really like blusher. Next, I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows using a brow pencil today. No pomade in sight. This is the NYX Micro Brow in the shade Taupe. I also have a clear brow gel. It's just from Bourjois, just so I can set my brows in place because they do tend to wander. Quick tip that I've been using recently. I've been putting clear brow gel or clear mascara through my baby hairs to get rid of them. Where did they go? Who knows? Then I'm just going through my brows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. If you guys are looking for a good Anastasia Browers dupe, this is it. And it's like a third of the price or something crazy. This isn't the best colour for me, but it was the only shade they had when I went and picked this up originally. That was like closer to my brow colour, so I'm working with it. Okay, brows are on. Next we have an eyeshadow palette. This one is the 01 Smoky and Highlight palette. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. I'm kind of thinking maybe, I kind of want to go for the green. I don't know how that'll work out. Realistically, I'll end up doing just another standard neutral smoky eye, but I am gonna add in at least one of the highlight shades. So we'll see where we go with that. First of all, Set my eyes using the pale cream shade. I don't think these have names. Wow, these are pigmented. Oh boy. We're gonna do something different. Then I'm gonna go in with the same brush and they don't have too many transition shades in here. So I'm actually gonna go in with the contour powder. And I'm gonna probably take just this one here, just using the same brush. I'm gonna pop that in my crease. Then, we are gonna go in with this sort of reddy brown shade, I think. Again, same brush, because we are going darker, so it doesn't really matter. These are so pigmented, I'm literally just tapping my brush on here. I don't wanna get too much pigment, because I don't want it to be too intense just yet. And I'm gonna go on the crease again with that. I'm then gonna go back in with my contour shade, go in for this darker color and pack that on the outer part of the lid. Back in with the eyeshadow palette, let's go in with this goldy shade. Are you gold? Kind of like a bronzy gold shade. You're going on the inner part of the eye. Not too much, because I'm gonna highlight the crap out of my inner corner in a minute. Shall we add some blue into the mix? <laughs> that is pigmented. Okay. I 
I might regret this, just saying. This is what you get. You ask me to do more colorful looks? I go ahead and chuck a bloody blue eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna kind of bring that blue up into the inner corner and kind of mesh it in with this brown shade, just as a bit more of a natural gradient. Okay, I think we could make this work. I bet there's some of you at home that are sitting there like, who is this girl? What is she doing? Just gonna blend all the edges out to soften them a little bit with a clean brush. Then I'm gonna go in with some liquid liner because <laughs> today we're just chucking everything on my face. This is the matte black liquid liner. I've heard this is meant to be really, really good, but it is a liquid liner. I don't tend to use liquid liners that often, so let's see how we go. That went on pretty well. For a liquid liner, which I hate liquid liners, I think did a pretty good job with that one. Now we just have to make sure that they're even. So I think that's fairly even. We'll see if we need to do any touch-ups or anything in a minute. It's looking a little bit crazy right now. So we're gonna add some mascara. So for mascara, I have, I think it's a fairly new product from them. It's called the Double Stacked. And basically you have a primer and then you also have the big old mascara. So I never use things like this. It's just a whole video of newness today. Apparently these are nylon fiber lashes. I'm going to show you guys a close up of this because this is very interesting to me. Do I brush that on first? No, I don't. Take that off. It's literally like cotton wool. Okay, so apparently, first of all, you put on the mascara. Then you go in with the fibers. I feel like this is gonna be a disaster. And then, more mascara. I'm just reading the instructions on the box. I was worried it was gonna look clumpy, but it doesn't. It's not my favorite type of lash. You guys know how I am with my sort of thick, kind of almost chunky lashes. But these are more like thin, almost wispy lashes, so. A little bit different for me, but I don't mind it. And a little bit on the bottom as well. So those are the eyes. I think we're done with that. I might just clean up a little bit. Just on the outside there and just kind of blend in the blue a bit more. Next, I'm gonna go in with their Strobe of Genius palette. This looks, mmm. So, obviously I'm gonna go in for the champagne shade. And I'm going to use my powder fusion brush. Okay. Hi. At first, I didn't think I was overly impressed. But it builds up in such a natural way. That is... Oh, yeah. Look at that Cupid's bow highlight. And then I'm going to go back in with that. Pop it under my brow bone and then go wild on the inner corner just to really brighten up those eyes. You guys are going to think I have fully lost the plot, but I'm going to go in with more blue. Just with that pencil brush again, just to intensify it a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with a brand new lip shade today. I don't know how it's going to look, but this is a shade Club Hopper. It's one of their newer ones. It's a liquid suede and this could be a mistake. Just like this entire makeup look. Just winging it. If you guys don't really know, I love this formula so much. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I did just quickly tight line my eyes and just fill in my lower lash line with black liner as well, just to tie it all together a little bit. <laughs> Didn't expect to come out with this look today. But here we are. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As expected, I mean, surely you guys know by now, NYX is one of my favourite brands. I don't think I was let down by a single product in this testing makeup video. The mascara probably wasn't my favourite mascara that I've ever used. I may try something different from their line because 
This sort of thing isn't really for me, it's a little bit too gimmicky for me and I already have pretty long lashes. The powder I was so, so impressed with because it wasn't powdery at all, it was just super glowy. Massive fan of the foundation mixers, definitely going to be using that base again mixed with the opalescence foundation mixer, that was... I just love that. Obviously this look is a little bit different than my usual but let me know what you think in the comments section down below and if you have any favourite product from NYX let me know and if I haven't tried it I'll be sure to give it a go. As always if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you do want to see more of me then hit that subscribe button. I'm posting every single day in the lead up to Christmas but apart from that that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!